Hello, my name is Brett, and today we're going to show you how to do the maintenance on the sh short block of our intensifier. We'll go over check valve, repair and maintenance, high pressure seals, and also the center section here, including the high load piston. Uh, we can work on the high pressure seals and the check valves, leaving this center section bolted up to the unit, but it is important to take these parts into a clean area so we don't get any debris on the new seals that we're putting in. And also when we come back to the machine to put these cylinders on, we need to clean out our end bells so we don't have any debris left in there. We'll start by loosening this outlet body. We're going to take this apart and show you the maintenance on the check valve inlet and outlet poppets and also change the high pressure seals. So we need a dead blow hammer and a spanner wrench and we'll put in the holes on the end cap here. Loosen that up and we can give it a few turns here. The check valve is starting to come out with the end cap. And if it's not, we can use our one and a quarter wrench and move it out as we go there. And continue to turn the end cap. And this is just getting the check valve out of the cylinder and the seal. And we're out, so we go ahead and bring it all the way off. So we have the end cap and check valve assembly out. We take the outlet body off. And then we push the main body out. And the check valve is ready to get lapped. We'll inspect the surfaces for any damage that's occurred during running, and we will lap them. Now we will take off our high pressure cylinder, and get our cylinder wrench, put on the cylinder, break it free, turn it the rest of the way out by hand. So now our cylinder's off here. I'd like to show how to take these high pressure seals out. We use the our high pressure seal installation tool, but it's also a removal tool if we use the, uh, the small end. So we put it into the high pressure seal. And we hold the cylinder up just a little bit off the table. Hit it with the hammer. Now our seal's out of that end. The backup sleeve wants to come out, but we'll leave it in and we'll turn it over. Use our tool again with the small end, put it on the backup sleeve and hold our cylinder up off the table and we're out. Now we can let that backup sleeve come out. And we'll move over to the check valve. We'll just get our one and a quarter wrench and hold it on the end. Take this screw out and remove the poppet housing and pop it off the top of this check valve. And then we'll want to clean these up and check these sealing surfaces and also the surface on this inlet poppet for any damage. And we will lap those. After we have the high pressure cylinders off here, we want to clean the ends up and inspect them. Sometimes uh, high pressure cylinders get out of round on this end due to the seal moving. Um, a good way to check your high pressure cylinder is to take a new hoop ring and drop in here before you start installing your other seals and fit it in the hole and see how much of it you can fit in there just using your fingers. If you can fit more than three quarters of this hoop ring down in the cylinder just using your fingers, then 
it's uh, time to start thinking about a new cylinder. It's not that you necessarily need to buy one right away, but you're getting close. Um, what happens is the end of the cylinder gets enlarged and your high pressure seals start to move inside of the cylinder and that is making your cylinder larger and larger but at the same time your high pressure seals aren't lasting as long. This high pressure seal fits over here and the hoop is going to be riding like so and this of course is in the cylinder. So as this is uh, pressurizing, depressurizing, it's uh, pounding on this and the hoop ring is going to wear a ditch around this check valve. And when this ditch gets to be 20 thou or deeper, and we need to think about replacing this uh, check valve because what's happening is uh, that ditch is allowing the seal to move on here, which is enlarging the hole on this end of the high pressure cylinder. So just some things to look for when you take things apart. So we have the check valve taken apart here and cleaned up. We're gonna start off, we're gonna look at the surfaces here. This one looks pretty good but uh, we're gonna wanna look for any chips around this, this hole here, and the same on this inlet poppet. This is gonna mount over the hole. This is where our inlet water comes in to fill the high pressure cylinder. So over time, these are gonna wear out and dish this surface here, and it needs to be flattened out. And to do that, we we'll use sandpaper and a granite block, a piece of glass will work also anything that's perfectly smooth and we're going to start off by using a little C320 grit sandpaper I'll put a little oil on this block here to help hold the sandpaper in place so the 320 is going to help us get rid of any blemishes that we have to begin with we'll put some water on the sandpaper And we hold the check valve as flat as we can on the, the paper and do a figure eight motion here. I like to do three or four figure eights and then turn it a half a turn and then continue on just in case I'm, I'm a little bit heavy on one side and I'm not realizing it. So we'll do the figure eights and then inspect it. I'm gonna look across that surface for any low spots. Make sure that uh, maybe we've lapped out all of the, the dings that we've seen around this hole. If it was dished out from running for a long time, we wanna get that dish out of there so this is perfectly flat. So we'll do a little more here. Just figure eights, holding it as flat as we can. And we'll turn it a half a turn. And continue. Now this one's looking very good. So we'll set it aside and go to the next piece here. The inlet poppet, which meets up with the check valve here. And this closes off when the intensifier pressurizes the water on this side. So we want to have a good ceiling, ceiling surface here so the High pressure water can't go back out our inlet hose. So hold this one in your fingers as best you can. And also figure eight. Start off doing it lightly and you get the feel for it. And then also I like to turn it a half a turn in case I'm getting heavy on one side. Check it and make sure we have a consistent uh, look across